Hey everybody, um, today I'm going to show you how to fix your PlayStation 2 Slim model if it's having a lot of trouble reading any of the discs. This here is a model 77001 PlayStation 2 Slim. And I've been beating my head over this for probably at least a good three or four days. Um, not being able to get it to read anything. So, you know, I tried the usual things, cleaning, cleaning the inside, and it is very clean. Um, I tried opening it up. I looked at the little circuit board on the back of the laser assembly in here, and I actually went in and started messing with the potentiometer settings for the amount of ohms and I kept making changes and it looked like sometimes it was helping other times it wasn't but in the end it really wasn't doing much good because after a while the discs still wouldn't read again okay and in case you're wondering though I I left the settings at about 890 ohms for CDs and like 1480 ohms for the DVD potentiometer and those seem to be okay. I even tried a couple of other little things I found out on YouTube like I tried putting a little piece of felt here to see if this would latch onto the discs a little better. I even put another little piece of felt here just to make sure that, that this part wasn't touching the metal here so I put that in but in the end, what I really found out was all you really need to do to fix this thing, and it's very simple. You're just going to need a bottle of strong rubbing alcohol, like 91%, and a couple Q-tips. See, the thing is, usually when people go in and try cleaning this, they're always wanting to clean the obvious thing, this little lens, this little diode here, the laser diode. And I tried that a bunch of times. Well, it's clean, believe me. Everything here seemed clean. There's just two little guys in here. Let's zoom in here. You can see this. right inside there. Okay. See those two metal parts there? The one on the left, one on the right? If I'm not mistaken, I think these are like reed heads. The one's for the CD, one's for the DVD. Does it matter which is which? No, not really. All you got to do, just go in there with your rubbing alcohol and just clean these up and down a couple times. Get them real good. Do it with the wet side and with the dry side. Use a Use a few Q-tips if you have to. Really get in there good and clean them. And then once those are clean, you should be able to pop in basically any disc and it'll work. And that's what worked for me. So I hope this helps a lot of you, especially you guys out there who've been messing around with those potentiometer settings. I know I've, I've been doing it for the last few days and but really, I think this this is what really helped, and that's what really needs cleaning. Yeah. And this is Dan, and I'm out.